Okay. Can you all still see my screen? Yes. Thank you. Okay, so let's get started. So this is our last web 504 webinar for the year. Ooh, it's hard to believe 2021 is finally coming to an end, isn't it? What a crazy year. So tell us in the chat, when you were a child, what was your dream job? Just type it in your chat. What was your dream job when you were like, I'll tell you, I wanted to be Wonder Woman. Clearly that didn't happen. <laughs> Jeff Taylor wanted to be a dinosaur. Ooh, a model, pediatric oncologist, singer, travel agent, teacher, veterinarian, Boy, it's funny, all these things, a lot of vets, some teachers, it's funny how, our, how life changes, right? <laughs> I think I thought being Wonder Woman would be pretty cool. Rock and roll singer. Laura Lee, not a teacher for sure. That's right, but we ended up in it, didn't we? It happens to us all. So that's always fun. Those are kind of fun little icebreakers. So let's talk a little bit about what we're going to do today. So we're going to go, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. We all have a lot of things going on. I'm sure some of you are getting ready to do some testing tomorrow and there's just so much going on. So I'm going to try and keep this, like I said, short and sweet. It will be, it is being recorded and it will also be posted um, on our support site. So you can always go back and review it if you need to. So we're going to go over some end of the year items. We're talk a little bit about policies and procedures, our tiered system of support, some needs for next year, and then our virtual sign in, and then we'll have some questions. We'll have time for questions and answers. Okay. So just some quick end of the year processes. If you remember, all students by the end of this school year must be active in the Universal 504 program. You remember this year we switched over? We took this year as a transition from our V1 to our Universal. Before your school closes down, you must have everybody rolled into the new Universal program. So if you don't have that, then it needs to be done. All your required documents need to be uploaded into Enrich. That's any outside evaluations, anything with a signature, all that stuff needs to be uploaded into files and attached. All your contact logs, contact logs must be completed unless they are still ongoing. But by the end of the year, before you, before you leave, they need to be completed and finalized. So everything in the system needs to be closed, completed, and finalized. For students who graduate after graduation, you will end their program in Enrich. So once they graduate, you end it. Their 504 hard file should be placed with their cumulative file if they're not already. Any hard copies of your 504s must be locked up and in a secure location and only accessible to leadership or whoever needs to um, get them. So this is, you know, again, end of the year cleanup. Everything in Enrich needs to be transferred over to the Universal Program. Everything needs to be uploaded, attached, finalized, and completed. Kids need to be ended if they're graduating or if they've moved out. We will start running an Enrich uh, a 504 report for those who are still in the version one, um, probably here in the next week or two. I just need to train Jocelyn how to do it. So you'll start getting an email from Jocelyn Dawson about what kids are still in version one and what you have to do, but you can do those yourselves too, you should know. So that all has to be done here in the next few weeks. We're also gonna need to know who the contact person over the summer is, if we have any 504 needs, any evaluations occurring, make sure the appropriate timelines are still being followed. Again, although we know we don't technically have timelines like that for 504s, we always revert back to um, special ed and IEPs. So we want to make sure we're following timelines, getting these evaluations completed. Make sure you're, you're not over any timelines, annual reviews, re-evaluations, all of that. Everybody's system should be up, clean, and complete at this, you know, as we're wrapping up. Everybody should be where they're supposed to be. If you have transfers into your school, again, once they 
If they're coming from out of district, so make sure you're working with your registrar to ensure those records are being requested and confirming if the student is or does or does not have a 504. Still on our site is this uh, districts that are using that universal 504 like us. If they do, then you can transfer those uh, records electronically. If not, then you have to do it old school. It's only those districts who use that universal like us. And again, that is on our support site of the districts currently using it. I haven't gotten an update. So those districts still haven't changed any. Students who are transferring out, again, make sure everything is sent, either hard copies or electronically. When the student records are requested, make sure you're ending their program in Enrich. And then ensure your, your 504 uh, accommodations and services. Carla, I muted you. Sorry, I got a little feedback. Oops, went too far. Remember, just like before, if you have any any um, issues with Enrich in terms of 504s and cleaning up, there's your ticket um, reminder and the link to fill out. All step-by-step -step guides for all the processes are on that support site. The transfer over going from version one to universal, everything is there. Make sure you go there first. And then if you have questions after that, please feel free to reach out to Susan or I. Make sure as you're wrapping up, you're starting to think about next year and your 504 policies and procedures. We don't anticipate any changes for next year, um, but you wanna make sure you're thinking if you have adjustments in your school's descriptions and how you implement specific things, some learning things from this year, what worked, what didn't work, maybe you need to change up some things for next school year. Just some reminders, remember your 504 committees must include persons who are knowledgeable about the meaning of the evaluation, student performance, placement options, that includes the parents. We have to notify um, parents in writing of the meetings and the purpose prior to the meeting. We need to give them their parental rights at least one time annually as you're holding these annual reviews um, and wrapping up the school year. And again, no decisions or changes to the 504 can occur outside of the committee or meeting, just like an IEP. Everything happens at a meeting. So with our tiered system of support by mid-June, your building leader will get your CPR score for this year. And that will indicate what tier for 504 your school will be on for the 21-22 school year. It is based on those seven indicators on that CPR of those submissions you've, you've submitted to us this year. There will, be a there will be 504 coordinator trainings in late July, and they'll be emailed out to you again in operator's notes within the next few weeks. We'll do a new 504, and then we'll do an all 504. Many are asking if it will be virtual or face-to-face. -face. Um, I think at this point, Susan and I are shooting for face-to-face -face training this summer. But we're, we'll be the ones, I believe, to take our show on the road. Um, and we'll do probably three throughout the states, so the groups are smaller. But I anticipate a face-to-face -face training and not a virtual for this, for this coming summer. But all those dates will be sent out to you here in the next few weeks. Um, if you're the 504 coordinator this year and you're going to have a new coordinator, 504 coordinator, remember your school will automatically be popped down to a Tier 3 just so they can have that extra support and we can make sure that things are still running smoothly. And that cut, oops, kind of leads us into the needs for next year. So things to think about, are you returning or is another person taking this role? If there is a change, please reach out to Susan or I and let us know, even if you're not sure of the new person's name, just let us know um, that it's gonna be a new person so some of the feedback we would like to elicit is some more information or some more ideas about webinars and trainings, um, some call structure and the tiers, and then what really are the needs, what all are your needs, and if this system worked this year um, as we switched it up this year. Just kind of a reminder for 504s, this is that big picture of the student body. You know, our 504 should be a small population of students it's, it shouldn't be the norm. You have all your students and then your physical or mental and then you have your 504 and then you have your students with IEPs. Again, as you're thinking about the year and processing next year, remember the school's child fine and eligibility processes and requirements. 
be part of those MTSS systems and meetings. I told you this was short and sweet. I'm gonna stop recording. This is the link and I will put it here in the chat in a minute um, for the virtual sign-in. Make sure you're signing in. It is the expectation that everybody watches these either live or recorded. Um, both Susan and I are here in the summer. We work year round, I think starting the first week of June, although I don't think it's been officially said we go to four days a week and we only work Monday through Thursday. We don't work Fridays, but we're here for 10 hours on Monday through Thursday. Um, and we are we are here all summer. We'll, we'll take a vacation here and there, but we'll let everybody know. So I'm gonna stop sharing. Let's see. So now is our time for questions. I'm gonna copy the link here for the sign in and I'm gonna put it in the chat. And I'm going to stop recording. So this is a time now for you all if you have questions.